Hello everyone, John Waffle H2P here, and guys, well, that's it, the season's over. This isn't the official season review. Oh, don't worry, I'll get to that probably after the national championship like I always do, but as of right now, um, Signetti's still employed. Heather Like is too fucking brain dead to do anything. Uh, Narduzzi is not doing shit. Um, and frankly, I think he's a socialist because he's making all this money and not doing anything. So yeah, he's a fucking socialist. But um, where to be? Where did the, where to begin? Um, is this what we want? I mean, they don't really. Get, this is just. I, I thought we changed. I really did. And this season just proves that this program and everything doesn't seem to give a shit about marketing, the economy, economics in general. I mean, we just want to be the fucking city school that basically is the pregame show for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And yeah, some people may just come on and say that's what we are, but those people are not real fans. I mean... We could be so much more, but we're not. Um, it's a shame, really. Uh, first of all, if we actually had the balls to hire a lawyer, uh, good lawyers, we could get the Italian scumbag meatball Narduzzi out of Pittsburgh today. Unfortunately, because of the stupid, we, we act like we cannot fire him. Like, this is 2023, going on 2024, and we're acting like these contracts are lifetime. We can easily pay the, the Italian and get him back to Italy or where the hell he comes from. Because this is some bullshit here, and he's making money and not doing anything about it. Now, if you guys don't already know, we lost to Duke. I don't care. We had a pretty, we were pretty, doing pretty well in the beginning, but Duke basically took control of the game at the end. It is what it is. I mean, I can't be mad. I mean, because <laughs> guys, we really, it's just the theme of the year. We got destroyed twice by Notre Dame under Narduzzi. Uh, this year, we couldn't even score against Notre Dame. Um, that really tells you something. I don't think we've ever beaten Notre Dame under Narduzzi. That being said, we only play like four times now. But, I mean, four times every four years. I mean, once every four years now. But, I mean, you get the point where I'm coming from. That this has been a disgrace of a season. A disgrace of a program. And nothing's going to change unless Signetti is fired. And people on Twitter are just pissing me off, like, acting like this is some kind of joke. This is not a fucking joke, guys. It really isn't. If Signetti is not fired by the end of the day... I just don't know what to say. I mean, th th it's ridiculous that we were acting like we have to, we're entitled to keep the scum these scumbags that can't fucking win football games. Kenny Pickett, I'll say it right now, saved Narduzzi's ass and got him a lifetime contract here. That's what it feels like because we can't apparently afford to. Uh, Fire the guy, but apparently we can afford to make these ridiculous contracts. And yes, he's a top 20 paid coach for some reason. He's getting paid about the same as some of these blue blood coaches. Think about it. Pat Italian Narduzzi or whatever you want to call him. The guy that just talks shit on, on the radio all the time. As much as you think that thing that he was calling up the West Virginia channels, I think that was stupid. I mean, the guy's not likable, and, and we have to be the face of that. And I know some of these old rich alumni like the guy, old family Italian guy. I, I want to win football games. I don't want all this crap. 
I would take Deion Sanders in a heartbeat, even though, I mean, yeah, he didn't really prove himself this year, but he would be a breath of fresh air than what we have here. Very stale environment. I mean, I was in Pennsylvania a few days ago, and I didn't see, I mean, it's just it just shows you that how terrible the system is. I mean, you can go look at it yourself. I mean, I know Penn State is like the whole king of the state, king of the valley, but um, I mean, we could be definitely second. We are the sec actually the first school in the state. Um, but I digress. I mean, I don't really want to hear arguments in the comments. You can argue against yourselves. I just don't feel like it. I mean, I had to say something because maybe, because basically I didn't really make videos for a while. And I don't really like making videos. I, I, you get the point what I'm saying. But this is, again, this is not going to be the official, um... Season of review, but oh boy, we're gonna we're gonna dissect the season in a few weeks. Um, this disaster of a season, and you ain't no, not you, the story of the season. Yate Norrell uh, really probably should have been the Q QB number one. Of course, he's not really the best. Um, oh boy, but we get to see his we get to see him ball it out next year. Uh, hopefully, we'll win six games next year, right? That's really where we are right now in this society. And if anyone's really offended about what I said, you need to get a life. I mean, just just get a life, guys. It, I mean, it's absolutely hilarious that um, the administration apparently thinks this is acceptable. This is the worst year since the late 90s where we always would get beat down by state texas oklahoma west virginia all these blue bloods and, and of course the famous uh 70 point loss against ohio state we can't forget about that we are digressing under narduzzi and yes maybe i'm overreacting but i feel like i'm not he's not a good head coach he's a good defensive coordinator he had his chance as head coach he won an acc title as head coach and for everyone saying oh i'm surprised he didn't go to michigan state why would they want him michigan state actually gives a crap they are the state school that gives a crap i mean they won't they they don't like Live off of Michigan because, yes, they are the smaller brand in the state, but they are their own brand in a way. I mean, look at that. Like, I used to, like, root for Michigan State um, when they were good under uh, – I can't even forget their coaches' names. But, I mean, like, in the 2010 – I mean, like, in the 2000s. But um, they were always, like, good under Saban. I mean, they had their own history. They have national championships like Pitt. You can compare the two schools, actually, in a way. They're the shadow of their schools, I guess, because, because people think maybe, oh, well, it's called the University of Pittsburgh. They only represent, like, uh, about 300,000 people or a million people in the uh, tri-state area. So, I mean, I, I, or metropolitan area. So I guess that's, we don't, they don't rep represent the whole state. Well, maybe they don't, but I mean, they have the history there. Maybe if they have marketed themselves better, I don't know. I don't think anything's going to happen under Narduzzi though. Um, Heather, like, I really like what she's done with the uh, Olympic sports, but the marketing team needs to change. Um, there needs to be some changes and yes, they like, look at SMU. They used to be the snazzy Christian school that no one in Dallas would want to root for. No one cares about them. They're just a bunch of rich kids, like, walking around. They're, we don't we don't root for their failure. Now that they basically market them, themselves as a Dallas school, like, they have the word, they have the city Dallas on their uniforms, which really gets the city pumped. That is a marketing tool, and that would help so, like maybe we should say, I don't know, University of Pennsylvania because it was part of the University of Pennsylvania or Western University of Park, 
Pennsylvania, maybe embrace that kind of history that this is, I don't know, the that they do represent the state. Because, I mean, I get, I guess we're never going to be Penn State. But we're never going to get recruits. We're never going to get anywhere. And the environment with some of these old alumni, I'm not talking all of you, but you guys are very elitist. You guys don't like change. You, these guys are the reason why we can't get he good head coaches. They want all these uh, people that they like. They're not recruiting you. They're recruiting, tw they're recruiting 17, 16-year-olds. Like, come on, guys. <sighs> but I went on a rant too much. I have nothing against Italians, guys. I'm just, I, I mean, but Narduzzi really represents them bad. And so does DeSantis, but that's a that's a totally different uh, rant. Uh, but um, yeah, um, we got to fix this, um, and it really starts with the marketing team, in my opinion. But we need to first fire Signetti. If we're not going to fire Narduzzi, Signetti needs to go. Um, what do I have to say? Nice guy. Uh, hoped he w did good. He did good here under, uh, Wanstead. I mean, really good here under Wanstead, but I mean, times have changed. That offense scheme doesn't work anymore. In my opinion, we need an air raid guy. We need to go in the big 12, like in Texas tech territory, Baylor territory, get one of these throwing offensive coordinators, QB whispers, somebody better than Wimple. We need to bring him to Pittsburgh and get some flashy offense going that's what, and, and let him take control of the offense and Narduzzi take control of the defense and the administration role since he want, he said he wants to be the CEO. And yes, he, for the, for most of the, he had, for most of his career at Pitt, he has been the CEO. He, but he has been very difficult with finding an identity for the offense. Whipple was the best guy we had. Who knows under, but again, he had Kenny Pickett. We need an offensive guy. We need to go and bring, I don't know, like maybe someone off the Miranda tree to Pittsburgh, like from Baylor, these offensive type of schools, Oklahoma State, uh, not West Virginia. I mean, they run a different type of offense, but like one of those flashy offenses, Narduzzi with his defense and as the administrator, this could be a very good program and yes i kind of am taking it back because for the credit if Nar Dar narduzzi is going to be the coach next year and maybe for the next three years so we need to get something going we need a flashy offense and we need to start an nil fund we need to get these guys here from those big 12 area schools the texas schools we need to go in the texas and start pulling out these high flashy offensive players because that is what it's going to take to win the ACC as much as it's going to exist. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know the future. We may end up in the Big Ten, the SEC, and dare to say the Big 12. But, I mean, the future is still going to be here. We still have a conference. We still have everything going for us. And next year, it's going to be a different schedule. Uh, we have a bunch of West Coast offensive teams we're playing next year because of some because of conference realignment. So we got to figure this thing out over the offense, uh, over the off season. Hopefully by the time I make the preview, we will figure something out. Guys, I'm really pissed, but we need to look at the bright side here. Uh, we need to dissect what's going on. And the first person that needs to go is Frank Signetti Jr. You're not your brother. Hell, you're not even your father, who was very respected at IUP. No offense to you. Um, your time is over. Thanks what you thank you for what you've done the pit in the 2000s. But guys, times have changed, and we need a flashy OC, and we need it now. It's time for a business move. It's time to build the dream team here because that's what needs to happen. And I hope it happens. I hope I see good news. And for that being said, guys, I mean, I'm not going to, I don't really want to say the, the, my catchphrase, the catchphrase of Pitt in general, 
But since we have to look at this in general, yes, Signetti's not been has not, not been fired yet, but maybe he will by the end of this video. Maybe he has already done it right now. Who knows? I'm just making this video today. Terrible season. We need to fix this and we need to build something now because yes, I am mad at Narduzzi. I think he's a bad coach. I mean, I don't think he's a good head coach in general, especially with the offense. And yes, I've been trashing him the entire first half of the video, but I need to look, we need to look at the positives. We need to know, we need to look where he can go to because there's options. If Zignetti, if, if Narduzzi wants my respect back, you got to get a high flashy offensive coordinator and a high flashy team on offense. And then you need to go out and recruit out of the portal a very good quarterback that knows the place. But that, with that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say. Um, disappointing season, disappointing day yesterday. But, I mean, like the, you always say, the sun comes up in the morning. It did. And um, we just got to gotta look at the future because the future, because this season's in the past. Well, not in the past for this video, obviously. I said I'm going to make a whole dissection of the season. But in terms of the se actual season, yes, it's over. Bold. Uh, it's already conference championship week. Probably. We all probably thought we would be have a slim chance to be there this year. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't happen. But it is what it is. So with that being said, guys, like, subscribe, share this video. And for the first time in a few weeks, I mean... I'm going to leave it off with this. Um, I'm mad at the team. I'm mad at Heather Like. I'm mad at the whole institution in general. But I believe I, I, I'll, I'll leave it with, I, I will say this. I believe if Narduzzi, I mean, if, I mean, I, I just don't know what to say. If Narduzzi has a chance to do something, hire a good team. If he doesn't, we're fucked. So that being said, guys, Hail to Pitt for the first time in a few weeks. Narduzzi, you are literally here on my hot seat. I mean, I'm not happy with you. I don't think you're a good coach, but you have a chance to make things better, dude. Fire Signetti, get a good offensive team in here, and hopefully we'll be okay. So I'll see you guys later.